guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, this is the neck off the Silver Tone guitar that I just picked up last night. And uh, the fret ends are literally like razor blades. Um, you barely even have to touch them. And, uh, yeah, that's not uh, too healthy for the fingers. I wouldn't let a kid anywhere near this thing. At least not until it's fixed. Overall, it's not a bad guitar though, but it does need a little bit of work. And uh, so I want to show you guys how you can fix up your own fret ends. And you really don't even need any actual proper luthery tools. So I got this file set. Uh, it's a 10-piece set, 10 bucks. Uh, Canadian, that is. For those of you who are in the States, this is Canadian dollars. Um, and uh, you can have it at any home hardware store or hardware store, or whatever. And uh, what I'm going to be using is the flat one. And on one side it has some cutters on it, but on the other side it's smooth. So you want to keep the smooth side toward your fretboard. Now, when this uh, neck had its frets put on, <laughs> I swear all they did was put the clippers up and went clip and that's it. Oh, that's good enough. Send it out. Um, the frets themselves are actually really good. Can't complain there. And uh, they don't seem to have any buzzing going on, so that's good. Uh, they didn't get much of a bevel in there, but there is a little bit. So what you want to start with first is the actual ends. Do the ends first. If you do have to put a little bevel in and get rid of those sharp edges on the bevels, if there are any, then we're going to go through that too because uh, some of these actually need it. But um, tape off your frets so you can protect your board uh, as best as you can and your neck. And... Uh, so you can feel along the edge, it's pretty sharp, they're sticking out, you can feel it. You can just pull at that and you know it's, that's pretty nasty. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to touch this with light strokes. You don't want to put any pressure on there um, more than you need to. And it's just very light strokes, just like this. And then just feel for it. not much to doing this and your file will eat a little bit of the tape but at least it's going to keep your fretboard your your neck and your fretboard safe that's the main thing Some fret ends are going to need a little more than others. This can take you a long time or it can take you a little while, depending on how bad they are. And you're going to want to clean this out once in a while too, because you're going to get tape getting into there. That's good. Now, those that just seem to be pretty good. So now we just run our finger across the top. Like I said, you got this flat spot. You're kind of going like an angle and trying to follow the edge around. Right. 
doesn't take much on the tops. Okay, now, one little trick you can do, you got two ways of doing this. You can take some 400 grit sandpaper and hold it on a bit of an angle and you can go down like this. Or, what's easier to do, I find, is I've got a sharpening stone that's rough and fine. And I use the fine side. And I just hold it on a bit of an angle, like this. to apply a lot of weight to this. And it's a flat stone, so everything stays good. Nice. 100% better. And safe now. So, do the other side. Flip it around. You gotta do this with the neck off the guitar. Now because you got the tuning keys on this side too, you're gonna wanna put your neck at an angle like this on the table. You don't wanna damage the keys. You can take the tuners off the guitar too if it makes it that much easier for you. Uh, but this is enough of an angle because I got lots of table space. I can just put this up here and then I'm going to go across and I'm going to start on this side. Same thing. Just go lightly. These files do cut rather easily. So they'll take them down pretty quick. fret leveling goes we'll get to a video like that some other day when I actually have a neck that needs to have the frets level this one's fine I see it's filling up with tape again just clean it off uh, if you end up with a little bit of a mess like that take a razor blade you're not gonna hurt the file much out of there as you can and uh, you continue on Try and just keep your strokes going one direction, like this way, okay? And if you need to, you can put like little small fast strokes like this if you needed to, but it should be all right. Sometimes you'll have to change the angle a little bit just to bring that around and get the excess off. And 
and then the same thing, the neck back up. Now the stone I'm using is actually an oil stone, and you don't need to add oil to it. Okay, not for doing this. Sharpen your knives, fine, but for doing the frets, no. Okay, so once again, take our stone. Now I run the stone up and down as I'm going. I don't stay in one spot. Very nice. So that's uh, almost pretty much half the, well that is about half the neck length done. So now it's just to tape off these other areas, get all them done, and then once they're finished, um, then I'll go down the entire length with the stone to make sure everything follows perfectly even all the way down on both sides. Pull the tape off and then uh, I like to use the scotch brights, so I cut up a piece of scotch bright, and then I just go and I clean everything here. And that's uh, another way to polish your frets a little bit too. scotch bright works really good. It's, it's not an abrasive in that it's going to do any kind of reshaping to your frets. It's not going to thin them out any. You know, it just gets all that grit and crap off. And... Uh, shines things up a bit, you know, and that's all there is to uh, fixing your fret ends. So when I get a guitar uh, that's hopefully crappy enough <laughs> that I have to actually replace frets on, I grabbed myself two guitars actually that are like that, I still have to learn how to pull frets and then reinstall frets. I don't have those skills yet, <coughs> but everything else guitar wise I'm good at, um, but uh, doing fret ends yeah, it's uh, really that simple. So realistically, you need a fine rough stone. Use the fine saw. One of these flat files from one of these kits. And remember, you've got one side that'll cut and one side that doesn't cut. You want the side that doesn't cut to do your shaping with. So you don't gouge into your fretboard and, you know. The tape is only going to protect so much. You know, you got to be careful when you're doing the rest. And take it slow, you know. There's no rush for this, you know. And you've got to get them all nice and smooth when you're done. Anyways, that's it. That's all. Um, I know some guys are going to be like, that's a bad thing. You know what? You use what you got. And if it gets the job done right, that's what matters, okay. I'm going to be buying proper Luthery tools eventually, you know. But it's not like I do this for a living. It's my own guitars at this point in the game. Um... You know, but uh, for the do-it-yourselfer guys, and you don't want to buy the tools or you can't afford the Luthery tools, what's well, 10 bucks for a kit? Or if you find this as a single, that's like a buck, you know, as a single. You know, and these are fine teeth. You need the fine cutters, not rough cutters, right? Like, I, I was looking at this file in comparison, you know, and uh, it's like, no, that's way too rough. That's just going to go, you know? So you gotta have a finer tooth uh, cutting file. And remember, you gotta clean this garbage off. You know, get it out of the teeth. 
So I have to actually take some time and clean that out. Quite a bit stuck in there. So uh, anyways, that's it. That's all. Let me know what you think. And hey, there you go. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.